So as you can see, right, you want the main picture, the center of the picture of the frame to be in the center of the body, right? And then you want, you want the, um, you want Lily here to be cut in the middle. So, so the center of it must come on this side of the body. And you will see over here, you will see over here, they meet up here, right? Like a book. Like a book. And then it goes over the shoulder, the right hand shoulder for a young maiden. And it would go over the left hand shoulder for a not so young maiden. <laughs> and then you tie the infamous reef knot which is that is the reef knot Okay, Gapsters, um, as you can see, we have our two very, very lovely, beautiful maidens um, in orange, Emahia. Emahia is the plural of Lihia, which means it's more than one. So starting with Gabby, she is actually wearing one with an image of His Majesty King Mswati III. Then another representation or interpretation of His Majesty is through a symbol or image of a lion which is worn by Luanze. And as you can see there um, in the centerpiece is a picture of the lion. So Gapsu's, um beautiful colors, orange, um, Emahia, underneath the two maidens are called what are wearing what is called sitwashi. Sitwashi is um, another name for traditional cloth, but for the part that you wear under um, emahia or lihia. So we've actually tried to color coordinate the colors, usually brown. Um, the strashi is brown, and um, it goes very nicely with the lihia that is orange but again the strashi um, colors vary so that they match according to the lihia that you wear on top so here you can see there's elements of yellow that make the top part pop so i think the maidens look very lovely on their necks they're wearing beautiful neck pieces all handmade in swaziland of course um, you know, you can adapt the style and make it as colorful or as simple as you want. You can see Gabby's is plain white and Luanle has spots of yellow and orange and sort of has a, um, what would you call this? A choker um, attached to it. And then on Luanle's wrist is a sikrizo. Usually sikrizo matches the neck piece. So you see gapsters, everything doesn't happen by mistake. Everything is coordinated to make sure you step out looking very lovely in your traditional outfit. Now, as you can see, um, as you tie the knot, it has to make a perfect L, like Luan is now demonstrating, a beautiful, beautiful, perfect L. That is the correct way of tying lihia. Um, and the knot that has been used is called a riff knot. Now, Gap says another important element is that if you are a young maiden and unmarried, 
the knot is on your right hand side okay but if you are now married the knot goes to the left side because on your right side you would wear what is um, goat skin to represent that you are now a married woman if you are a married woman the knot goes to your left underneath your mkula or your lihia you would be wearing um, a goat skin that goes over your right shoulder to symbolize that you're now married. So Gapsters, as you see, the knot is right on top of her right shoulder. That is not the correct way to tie your lihia or umgula. That is very, very incorrect. And as you can see, it makes the entire outfit look very untidy. You need to have your perfect L shape. <laughs> Gapsters, 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 your beautiful maidens are back again in different attire this time. Different, beautiful, beautiful attire. We have it in maroon and um, in red, as you can see. Um, now, this is quite an interesting twist. Um, this umkula. <laughs> She's so dramatic. <laughs> Umtula is actually a longer version of the lihia, but still they're wearing their sitwashi underneath. So this trashi, remember Gapsis, is that cloth, usually brown, um, that I spoke about earlier. So Gabby is demonstrating um, what sitwashi actually is. And interestingly, Gapsis, if you are not engaged, um, you're still a young maiden, you just wear only one. Gaps, there's another interesting aspect I'd like to draw your attention to are their neck pieces. So Luanle is wearing um, a, a beautiful neck piece just in plain white, which is round. So and Luanle is wearing, is wearing generally what is the Swazi traditional necklace, and it's called Likabesha. It's usually two kind of um, petals um, with the, the, the neck piece going around to the back of the neck. You usually also wear it with something on your Matching. wrist and that is called sitkizo, like we previously mentioned. So, you know, the, the neck piece that Gabby is wearing, the likkebesha, is the one that actually represents two so, true Swazi um, identity as far as neck pieces are concerned. Yes, Gapsters, as you can see, that is how you wear it. And um, I'd like Gabby to also step in and also do her 360. And you can see Gapsters, the pattern is very, very nicely, prominently displayed. Hello. Mommy, thank you for dressing us. We appreciate you. The Gapsters appreciate you. Any words for the Gapsters? No. Okay. Bye, Gapsters. See you in Portland.